something to watch. There's a lot of great ongoing seminar series as well as whole recorded course lectures on YouTube. And so here are some of my favorites. Some of these are going to be more general in terms of the topics that they cover. Some are going to be more specialized towards things that I'm interested in, um, and hopefully you will be as well. Some of these are going to be more technical. Some of them are going to be more towards a general audience. This one's more technical, but more general in terms of it covers a variety of different subjects, but it's given in a very scientific-minded uh, way. So this is the NIH Director's Wednesday Afternoon Lectures. Basically, the NIH, the National Institutes of Health, they don't just give out grants and things like this. They also have their own research going on. And so people work at the NIH doing research, and they have research groups just like you would have at at an academic institution. And in addition to their own researchers, um, they have invited speakers come and give talks. So these talks are given by different specialists and different topics, and they're going to be like hour long seminar type talks. And they have them on a variety of different topics. And you can find, um, you can find the list of them here um, and follow the NIH videocast channel. Another one that I'm a fan of, this one's more specialized, the RNA Collaborative Seminar Series. They have talks focused on RNA, but they have them from people from around the world and different institutions participate. And it's really um, a great way to learn about some different topics and different research going on. And they often have talks by trainees, which is cool too. The CHSL, um, Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, their leading strand channel, they give, they post some of like the keynote speeches from different conferences onto their website. So CHSL, this is actually where I did my um, PhD work. They have a really renowned meetings and courses program, and they have these scientific meetings where people come from around the world um, to talk about various topics. And they have keynote speakers at those meetings that give a broader view of the field type of talk as well as maybe some about their history and what's going on in the, their research at this point. And you can find those keynote lectures on the CHSL Leading Strand channel. And so they have a different, a bunch of different tops. So you can see ones on um, like RNA therapeutics. You can see ones on computational biology. You can see ones on biochemistry. They also have interviews with some of the scientists um, that were at the meeting. So some really cool stuff. Now where I'm at currently, UCSF, University of California, San Francisco, they also have some great talks. Um, and so I'm lucky that I'm at UCSF so I can actually go to a lot of the talks and have access to the ones that aren't put up on public, but they do have some that they put in, that they do post online. And so I encourage you to follow them as well if you want to know more about that sort of thing. They also have some shorter videos with talking to different scientists. Um, they also, UCSF also has this like academic senate, and so a lot of these videos are kind of going to be things that are specific to UCSF, and you probably don't care about them outside of UCSF, but some of them, they have these faculty research lectures, so this one was held um, last week, and it was really, really interesting, this um, lecture about kind of the development of different transcriptional circuits, and so these faculty research lectures are really, really interesting, and so you can find them um, on the on UCSF channel, the academic summit channel. The Broad Institute, they have a bunch of great talks as well. Um, so they have this like Latinx at the Broad um, series, which is great, as well as different um, medical and population genetics, various chemical biology, this kind of like a mix of all sorts of different things, but hopefully you can find something that interests you there. If you want something more general, life science across the globe. I kind of got, um, learned about this Well, it actually started during the pandemic and it was kind of this way for scientists from around the world to tell others what they've been up to in research. And so there are different institutions from around the world that participate and then they take turns about who's participating. They also give a kind of like culture talk where they talk about science in their country and things like this. So there's some really cool talks that you can find there. Um, this is hosted by like Geneva HHMI, so the Howard Hughes Medical Institute's Genelia Research Campus channel, and then you can find this. They also have some other talks and other things. So one of the more specific um, topic focused is this GARD-P. This is a, 
um, global collaboration to try to find um, new antibiotics and combat antibiotic resistance. And so they have some really cool videos about related to those topics. So some of them get really, really technical into how these drugs are tested and how they're developed and things like this, but they can be really, really interesting. Another more specialized, but quite, maybe not as specialized, I don't know, it depends, is this Dana-Farber TBD. So TBD is targeted protein degradation, um, basically like protax and molecular glues, ways that you can target specific proteins and get them degraded. And so they have some really, really cool talks. So recently they had one by Dan Nomura at Berkeley. Um, they've also had ones by all sorts of different people from around the world on, on this topic. And so this is really interesting as well. More uh, back to a little broader biochemistry, um, not quite as broad as some like the NIH ones, but if you're interested in biochemistry, this biochemistry focused webinar series from the Biochemical Society. They have some great um, webinars posted up here as well on different, all sorts of different topics. If you want, to, if you're interested in structural biology, so things like crystallography and cryo EM, check out the XB Grid Consortium. So SB Grid is actually this kind of software community collaboration type thing where different labs can kind of buy into it, and then they'll provide the latest versions of all the software that people use. Um, but they also give this series of um, webinars where they have experts from different um, like software developers and things like this, as well as researchers using various software, come and give talks. So you can find like they have talks about crystallography, electron microscopy, structure analysis and visualizations. So they'll have people who developed Pymol and Chimera X and all this stuff um, come and give topics about how to best use the software, um, some examples and things like this. So check out SB Grade Consortium if you're interested in structural biology. Okay, there's also like full courses on YouTube and I'm not gonna go into like all of them, but I wanna point out a couple of my favorites and these are gonna be more technical, but I'm currently really enjoying this Chem 128. Um, well, actually I'm enjoying it for the second time, this Intro to Chemical Biology. Um, um, so basically this is by Gregory Weiss at UC Irvine and it's a chemical biology course. So it's really, really, really interesting. And I, I really encourage you if you've taken biochemistry already, uh, maybe check out this intro to chem biology to go a little deeper, dive into things like why D why GC regions are stronger because of their base stacking and things like this and how water is just um, messing with all sorts of actual chemical reactions that you might want to try to use. I'm also really enjoying this MIT's bio Biological Chemistry 2. Um, they're talking a lot about the, the really nitty gritty of protein synthesis, so like protein translation. It's really, really interesting. And they also have information on kinetics and various things like this. So this is a great course. So this one's given by professors Elizabeth Nolan and Joanne Stubb. If you want to go really, really, really deep, um, organic chemistry. So David Van Grenken of the uh, UC Irvine has some great organic chemistry lectures I really enjoyed. Um, so there's basically um, he has like Chem 51B, as well as there's Chem 51C um, and some other things. So if you're interested in organic chemistry, kind of trying to pick up and review what you learned in undergrad, maybe, I recommend this channel. If you want a little um, less heavy of a topic or um, a more general audience, well, not a general audience, this is given to a college student, but it's kind of less technical and more intuition thinking. Cell biology by the numbers. This is really great. It's like a whole course about how to make back of the envelope estimations and kind of get an intuitive sense about how big things are, how many molecules there are in cells and this sorts of things. So I'm Professor Ron Milan, they also have like a whole um, free textbook that I will link to as well. And then, of course, I have my own videos. If anybody's interested in those, I have play very, I've tried to put things into various playlists based on topics. And so hopefully that you will find something here that can interest you as well. Um, but I don't, 
I'm not doing this for money or anything. I'm not, there's no ads or any of that stuff. Um, but just if you find that interesting. So I'll post links to all of this various stuff and then just explore on your own. There's a lot of really great content on YouTube. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out. Sometimes if you type for seminar or something like that, or if you filter by longer videos, you'll find some of the actual seminars as opposed to just short snippets. And I hope you enjoy too.